I first came to the University of Bradford in 1995 as a student. I was doing interdisciplinary human studies in the Department of Sociology. Um, it wasn't a great experience for me as I didn't declare as being a disabled student and I um, I struggled to get across campus, to get to my room in halls, I struggled in exams um, and I ended up leaving the university after about eight months of the course. I came back as a temporary ad an admin assistant to cover maternity leave in 2002 um, I'd been working in admin a lot and I realised that I wanted some kind of career and I wanted to get into the field of disability so I thought if I started off in the disability office as an admin assistant then hopefully that would open some doors for me. In I think it was about 2003 the university paid for me to go through the Masters in Disability Studies at Leeds University um, and that's where I learned a lot about the politics of disability and being a disabled person and it helped me to identify as a disabled person in a positive respect so um, I was then able to celebrate being a disabled person. Um, from that I wanted to become a disability advisor and a trainee role came up at the disability service within dyslexia. So I got that role, thankfully, and um, the university again put me through a course on learning how to support disabled students. I had a mentor um, and within, by 2005 I was a fully qualified um, disability advisor. My work now involves um, seeing students on a one-to-one -one basis. We go through a process where they can find out if they have dyslexia. Um, we look at the indicators that they have of dyslexia using a piece of software called QuickScan. They then go through a pre-assessment process with a disability advisor, that's what we do, and then they we, we decide if we refer them to an educational psychologist or not. And we talk about the kind of support that they'll get. We look at what reasonable adjustments they'll need while they're here. That might include extra time in exams, um, extended loans in the library, it might mean that um, they get their lecture notes in advance and we, re we make all those recommendations to the department in what's called a learner support profile. I think things have changed phenomenally in the last 20-21 years. Um, the legislation has changed, the support that is now available has changed and people's awareness of disability and supporting disabled students has increased a lot. We get a lot of engagement from staff in the departments. They want to change the way that they teach in order to make it an inclusive experience for all students. And it wasn't like that at all when I came to university. Um, I didn't even know the disability service existed, even though it did. Um, and now we're very um, obvious. The university is very inclusive. The support that they've given me personally and the support that's um, offered from us to students in my role is I think exemplary of the of the universities around the country. Um, I also run the disabled staff networks and I know that staff feel supported in the majority of the activities at the university. I think that without the University of Bradford I wouldn't be where I am today. I wasn't able to confidently identify myself as a disabled person and because of the courses that you, the university put me through and because of the environment of actually being within the disability service has increased my confidence tenfold and I'm now very happy and proud to say that I'm a disabled person and that I'm a successful disabled person and I hope to be a role model to the students who come through here as well.